Hi, this is Sapphire from Scrappy Mania, and welcome to another episode of Scrapping Therapy. And today what I want to do is I want to play with my Prima stamp. I'm playing with this new one called Marisol Adam, and it came with clothes. Now, um, this I purchased, you, if you saw my whole video some time ago, I got this in a bundle from photobella.com. And um, it, I got this with the last release of Prima. Actually, the release prior to that last release of Prima is when I got these stamps. And they were pretty economical. I really love these stamps. I've used her before with the clothes, and I've used Adam before. Now, for um, 2015, she introduced three new stamps that coordinates with these stamps. So these are the clothing for these stamps. So I want to go ahead and play with this. I love this um, shirt and pants. And I think I'm going to crop the... Um, the, sh the shirt so that way it will be kind of um, you know halfway through or, or whatnot it might even look nice just to put the pants and just this shirt on top of the pants but we'll see it also came with shoes so I think I'm gonna give her some boots or some shoes or even these I'm not sure yet but you get these three and this is only twelve dollars and something cents for these three stamps so I thought that was a good deal the other thing that I want to do is I want to play with this Tardit, um, Retarda gel and I'm hoping that that will slow the drying time of my acrylic so that way I can do more blending and things like that. So I'm kind of growing myself as an artist, playing with the different mediums to see which medium I like best. And I also have, I pulled my acrylics. I've been playing more with my watercolors and I have tons of acrylics as you can see here that I purchased from um, you know Michaels and I got some from a lot of it it's from Walmart because you really could get these craft paints from Walmart pretty good price these are actually from Hobby Lobby because this is um, folk art but the craft paints is this one from Apple Barrel so I got a bunch of those those were on sale at Walmart so I got a bunch of those for 50 cents so I want to play with that and I do have some other acrylics paint. I want to see how that works. And then I want to play with this metallic temper tempera because I've, I've played with this when I was younger as a kid. Um, I just want to see how these along with my acrylics will work. I know these are, are a lot um, less thick. They're more, they're between like a watercolor kind of consistency and a acrylic consistency. But I want to play with this and see how that works with my whole um, layout. So I'm going to speed up the video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a, a coat of gesso first. I'm also going to be using some book paper to create my pieces so I can layer it down here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to stamp the image first and lay it here or I'm going to stamp the image off on, on this paper and then lay it down. Not sure yet what I'm doing. I'm just playing it by ear. So I hope you like this video and you stay with me until the end. So let me get started.
what I wanted to play with um, in my art journal was I wanted to kind of play around with acrylic paints and using a brayer to create a background and I really love how it came out with the brain I didn't know it was going to come out this good. Um, I've seen the technique on a lot of YouTube channels and with mixed media, but I never tried it myself. And this is the first time I tried this, and I really like that. So the other technique that I wanted to play was with acrylic paints, because I mainly are working more with watercolor and color pencils and watercolor pencils and watercolor paint. And... Um, and I also, you know, the last video I played with my um, chalks and my pastels. So that's why I wanted to kind of experiment with, with, with this. And I really like the acrylic paint. The other thing that um, I wanted to play with, with was with trying to see if I can create flowers with one stroke painting technique. Well, I have a lot to go for that because um, it didn't come out exactly how I want it, but... This is a start, you know, where I'm starting to kind of learn how to use one stroke painting techniques to create flowers. So I do have a lot of videos from Donna Dewberry showing me how to do one stroke painting. I just haven't gone and, and really watched those videos very closely. So I need to watch the videos, play a little more with, with one stroke painting. But I do like, you know, how it came out. Um, the other technique that I really like is using, you know, I um, which you did not see because my video didn't come out, but I stamped the um, the stamp, the image, the boy and the girl on a piece of paper. So I stamped it on this, and then I stamped the clothing. You saw that part. I stamped the clothing on some text paper, but what you missed was. I went ahead and colored the clothing while it was still on the, the this paper and then I cut out the paper I cut out the clothing from this paper and I attached it to the dolls while they were still attached to the page here so they were still stamped in here I attached everything here I glue everything in here I let it dry and then after everything was put on that's when I cut out my my dolls the other technique that I wanted to do was I wanted to use my glitz roller with some acrylic paint and I did that here and I really like how that came out and then um, the other the last technique I wanted to play with was with using a, a pen uh, um, a brush and my inks and I was using that to create calligraphy on, on my page so I do like this page and I hope you liked it too and I hope I gave you some ideas to try out things you just don't don't shy away from different techniques just try it out an art journal is the perfect medium that you can play with and try out different techniques before you transfer that technique into a card or into a scrapbook layout or even into art for your house so I hope I inspired you and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you if you like to see more of these type of videos and thank you for watching. Bye.